Okay, here we go. Okay, as I press into this block, I've got the synthesizer that that's set up with uh, to increase the, the resonance or slight dis or maybe distortion as I go into the block. Hello, Simon here from Position again. Um, second video um, about the Leap Motion controller. Um, I wanted to look at um, how we use that uh, in a more sophisticated way to make music. Um, and I have another piece of software uh, that I've been using, or that I've, I've just started using with this. Um, again, I've only been playing with it for a day, so it, it's early days. Uh, but I'm really excited about it. Um, it's called Aero MIDI, designed specifically for the Leap Motion. Uh, and it works in a way that I haven't seen before. Um, which I really like. Again, if we look at the screencast, you can see all these blocks on the screen. Um, I can click on them and highlight them. Each of those blocks I can program to uh, trigger MIDI information as soon as I interact with Elite Motion and enter that block. It'll send the messages that I want it to trigger. So if you look at the screencast here, this uh, letter N, uh, if I hover over it, um, as soon as I enter that block it's going to send um, the chord C um, and it's also going to send some MIDI information, control information to control things like volume or uh, maybe a filter or um, a reverb wet and dry button or reverb send. Uh, anyway, a, a way of changing the sound depending on how I interact with that block, so whether I'm going up or down, left or right in or out, the leap motion will interpret that motion uh, and aero MIDI will change that information into MIDI uh, and then that MIDI information will trigger the sounds um, that we want to happen. Again, it's, it's real time, so there's no uh, inconsistency or lag, uh, which is really, really exciting. As you can see, I've set out uh, these blocks um, to spell out the, the Noise Solution website. Uh, so you can go there and get our contact details um, if you want to ask any questions, www.noisesolution.org. Um, but I guess the best way to uh, show you how this works is to, is to actually start uh, interacting with it and start playing. So uh, let's give that a whirl. Okay, let's start. Uh, this red dot, by the way, is um, my finger. Uh, if I enter this block here, it will trigger a drum beat. And turn it off again when I enter it again. You ready? Turn it off again. On again. Okay. Let's try up here. See what happens when I enter this block. Simple, gentle movements. And it's great music. Nice. Turn that drum, those drums off again. Let's try again up here, another drum beat here. spoken previously on my blog, the Noise Solution blog, about why I use Reaper. Mainly um, it's uh, available uh, to the sort of clients that I work with in that they can download it for free. It works on a Mac and a PC. Um, we're not encouraging people to use um, software that they can't afford, which will then encourage them to, to you know, uh, crack the software. That's not what we're about. Um, we should be using software that's readily available. Okay, so I've got this drum beat going on. Here we are. Turning on, turning off again, there it is. So, okay, here we go. Okay, as I press into this block, I've got the synthesizer that that's set up with uh, to increase the, the resonance or slight dis or maybe distortion as I go into the block.
great fun. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, so there it is. Uh, that's called Aero MIDI uh, for use with uh, the Leap Motion. Um, again, very easily programmable. So much, so so much simpler than the Connect stuff uh, we were using before. I can definitely see us being able to sit down with a client, uh, programming a set of blocks in any shape that they want, um, and then then being able to create music very very quickly. It's brilliant. Um, again, any questions? www.noisesolution.org. Um, drop me a line. I'm really interested to hear what you guys think of it. Um, thanks a lot for listening. Cheers. Bye.